seven all stars. Official colorway is Cashmere, Green Glow, and Purple Dynasty. First up, let's take a look at the box. Got a crown. Got Nolan Gumbo right there. Got a little damage when I received it right around the basketball net. Really cool designs. Got this giant alligator on the back right here. There you go, there's the head. So uh, I believe this is what, trumpet? There it is. A lot of cool details with this box, but let's get right into the shoes. But first up, let's get right into this car right here. You got the Gator King with a sword. Got two different LeBrons on his feet. The basketball on his hand. This is Nike down here. Back, it's the same gumbo design. Really cool car, but it came in bent. I don't really care about the card. Whatever. You also get some, I think these are purple. Yep. Purple 3M laces with the green glow on the lace tips. As you can see right there. And here are the shoes. I have not even tried on a pair of LeBron 11s until today. And this thing here has a ton of detail. Uh, I mainly picked this up because it reminded me of the, the Full Composite Pro, the pearls. The ones that are Ray Allen wore in the He Got Game movie. Also really like the chroma design all along the upper. I'm not really liking this lace lock right here. It feels feels really cheap. I don't know, it has that really chalky feeling. But I think it's just plastic. And I think it really just gets in the way of uh, tying your laces quick time. You got that crazy design all around the hyperposite. Purple dynamic flower wire right there. Let's quick look at the back. Crazy design on the inside. Similar to the box. Also says uh, gumbo on the inside. Also got a really padded tongue. The gold crown above the logo. You also got this uh, very interesting pattern along the swoosh. I'm not really sure what that is. Here's a quick look at the bottom. Honestly, I don't like the bottom. The, the marble pattern, I'm not a huge fan of. If it was like this pattern all across, I'll be okay with. But, uh, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of ice cream. If they did this with a glow in the dark uh, bottom as well, it would be awesome. The other one, I honestly didn't think I would pick up the LeBron 11 this year, but. This model here I really like, as most of you already know, uh, I, I like purple, I rock purple all the time with all the Kobe's, anything in the Kobe series, so another quick look at the bottom, and uh, again this white hyperposite really gets me right here, let's take a look at the insole, here's a quick look at the insole, gumbo and a rainbow pattern right there, got your standard lunar on, insert, with full length zoom all along the bottom. Tried these on first time today and uh, it was pretty darn squishy. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I wanna feel the zoom a little more. Hopefully that breaks it. Here's a quick shot of the shoes with it charged up under the light. As you can see here, details are absolutely crazy all along the shoe. These would definitely catch people's eyes if you ever wear these out at night. And the camera's not even doing it justice. It's just so damn bright in person. Let's get you guys some on feet. And here we are. Let me know what you guys think. I honestly, I don't know. I kind of don't like them, but I like them at the same time. It's that love-hate relationship. I think LeBron 11s look really funny on big feet. Even though the shoe was made for a dude that's 6'8", six, 6'9", six, close to 300 pounds. Uh, I don't know, man. But uh, again, I don't really like the bottom, but you won't be looking at the bottom when they're on feet. Here's a quick shot with the 3M on, or with the flash on. It is absolutely crazy. I really love when the 3M is popping. Here is another shot with my phone glowing in the dark. Really loving the details on Hyperposite when it's glowing. Well, my video is pretty much coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.